sometimes they say, Father, you are preaching to the choir. Well, today I literally am because there's no one here present, but I'm very grateful to Bonnie Wersher and to Becky Ortega for offering their services today as we celebrate this beautiful Palm Sunday and we begin this Holy Week in which we recall our Lord's passion, death, and resurrection. Sorrow, worry, or faith. From the very beginning, God has put into our hearts, into our souls, the gift of imagination, that ability to look to the past, to be in the present, and to even look into the future. And his whole passion describes those three moments of our life very beautifully. It's almost like a play where you have three separate acts and they come together as a whole. And Christ's passion shows it so beautifully. For those who had sorrow, everything was over. Christ's death for them was the end. For those who were anxious, everything was uncertain for them. What would happen now? An infinite happiness for those who stayed with him. Christ this week will carry his cross. He will walk by each and every one of us. And what will we give in a response to him? What will be our role that we play? If it's sorrow, we're simply only looking back. If it's worry, we're just simply looking around our world. What's everybody else doing? But if it's faith, we look up with hope. And we recall, as we look at the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he died on the cross, there were three people who stood by his cross and looked up. His own mother, Mary. John, that beloved disciple, and Mary Magdalene. They had faith, and they looked up. And they were the first ones that Easter morning to know about the resurrection of Christ. And brothers and sisters, this past week has been a very difficult week for me. As many of you know, many of our family members are missing. You are not here to be with us to celebrate these masses on the weekends and during the week. But not only that, our parish family, our workers, our employees, many of them have now been furloughed. And they're wondering, how do they make ends meet? How do they support their families? And now I must act as a father. The Archbishop has entrusted me to the care of this parish to be a father figure, to lead this parish in a moment of crisis. And this past week, I've been doing a lot of soul searching. And so I looked at my own life and I said, I can look back in sorrow. I can simply worry and look around or else I too can look up with faith and with hope. And knowing that our family is not together and until our family is back together once again and all of our employees are back to work, I am going to dedica dedicate two thirds of my salary back to this parish to help to support us to get through this very difficult time. But I look up with faith, and I trust in God with hope.
We can leave it all behind, or we can have that hope too. And one day I hope and I pray after this coronavirus has passed, we here at St. Peter's are going to have a mass of thanksgiving to give thanks to Almighty God for the blessings that he has given to us. Do we walk with sorrow? Do we walk with uncertainty? Or do we walk with faith? Look up. Look up.